this past week I attended a nationwide uh, Zoom call to find out how our church, how our faith partner, uh, faith action can support migrants and refugees uh, from Hawaii. I discovered that there are more than 200 detention centers in the United States. But it's calling what they truly are refugees and migrant prisons. These prisons are privately owned for profit. And the two largest federally funded operators, the Deal Group and Port Civic, are benefiting greatly. Geo Group generated. $2.2 billion in revenue in 2001, nearly 60% of that came directly from contracts with the United States. On this Zoom call, representatives from three welcome centers or call them post release centers described their work in the way they supported refugees and migrants. They said that they offered welcome presents, and as these refugees and migrants were released from these prisons, they were able to be welcomed by these volunteers and they would provide some good old fashioned human dignity, some good old fashioned human connection, some warm clothes, resources, nutrition, and some safety. Apparently, a cell phone charger is one of the first things these travelers request. Travelers, in turn, use to offer dignity. Because naturally, people just want to plug in their phone, charge it, and call their family, and notify them that they are safe and they are okay. One local center is known as Asan the Box House of Peace. They mentioned that just this past month, they served nearly 1,500 travelers from 44 countries, and it was the busiest month yet. Activity, this heterosexual activity, this little 
dominated uh, gender activity, it's triumphant history activity. But the symbol follows it. It's intense. Not only is it that the struggle is going to be defeated and worked, especially in the blend of the criminal, but now this is going to target every single man, woman, and child. being a person of color, speaking another language, and not English, I'm familiar with the systems of this country and without the ability to work lawfully or attend school legally or to live with any human dignity. What a great idea that's influenced and bring travelers with additional fear and trauma. That's, that's increased their suffering. That's maybe not, not just a huge one for us. Repeat it over and over again for a while. Everywhere they go. Shake my head. This is wrong. This is so wrong. You know what the traveler said? The fear and trauma is in our bodies. Yes, it works. Even because the truth. 
eternity forever. It includes everyone. It includes everything. 